What's up YouTube? Josh here with Gameplays R Us. Gonna do a uh, riding solo episode. I'm gonna share with you guys one of my favorite Game Gear games of all time. This is one of the games that I played all the time as a kid. Um, the only way I can actually record this is using an emulator, so I apologize for that. Uh, so for this test I'll be using a uh, 360 controller uh, that I have hooked up to my computer. Um, but uh, rest assured that Legend of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse is probably one of the best games on the system. It's very simple, uh, and I'll get to, into some of the more details of it. Uh, I'm going to do a whole, uh, play the whole game. It's not going to take very long, uh, probably 15, 20 minutes tops. Uh, and that's probably pushing it. So, um, yeah, hopefully I can walk you guys through the game. Hope you guys will appreciate this. If you do, like, hit that uh, subscribe button down below to see more content. Uh, I'm going to try to do, uh, push more content out in the next coming months and weeks and months. So, uh, all right, let's start the game. All right, so here we go. This actually is a pretty fun game, not gonna lie. Um, so I do hope you guys uh, like it. <laughs> I guess you could say uh, a lot of nostalgia, a lot of nostalgia for me. So uh, I'm not gonna really play in the story. It doesn't really matter. Um, all you gotta know is um, the kingdoms have come under hard times and the only way to save it is with Mickey Mouse. Um, yeah, we're not going to watch that. Uh, so here we go. Castle of Goofenstein. Uh, so you start as Mickey Mouse. He's kind of a, uh, a laundry boy for King Pete. sent on this quest to go and save the kingdom, so. <laughs> Pretty simple. Uh, so those white blocks with the uh, Mickey Mouse that I just picked up out of that chest of the life. Um, actually, I'll stay there. Cakes give you uh, full health if you need it. Any other ones in the store. Um, so I'm not used to playing this with the uh, 360 controller, by the way, so it's going to be, if I mess up, it's not normal. Not that I'm trying to make myself sound great, because I'm not, but um, it's definitely a different feeling that I'm used to. I really like the music in this, in this game. I don't know, it's just one of those things that sounds so, uh, melodic. She's over. Now mind you, this game also runs off of just like a two-button configuration, so you've got button one and two. Um, so... Having, uh... Having them come up with different ways to use this as a, as a platform is pretty cool. Mastering that as a kid on the game year was like one of the most difficult things I've ever done. I'm not gonna lie. No. Oh well. That's the end of that level. So you can see they're pretty short levels. They don't. They don't take a whole lot of. Uh, Work. Just mem level memorization like any other game, really. Duckingham Palace. This is what, cool. I really like the music in this game, actually. I think I've said that already, but... It's one of those games that I can listen, I can pretty much sing along with the entire game. Or 
come along, I should say. Oh, there's a word. It's pretty cool that you kind of use like a magnetic polarity in this game. Just on this level, not. that tells you to go off and there's a, a beaver I think that's blocked off the river of life so this is one of those cool levels that has like it's a bit probably one of the longer levels and that's not saying much it's also probably one of the most difficult levels is this one um, just because of the amounts these coins by the way don't do anything for you they just add a bit of a uh, score but uh, there's no purpose to them. This is the hard part. If I can make this jump, this level is super quick. Which I didn't do, so... soap underwater. Go figure, right? This level used to stress me out so much. I always, always used to think I was going to drown and I was never going to make it. But obviously it's not that way it goes. This is one of those levels, this part will remind a lot of people from, uh, for Ninja Turtles, the weeds. It's impossible to get through this section without getting hit. I've been practicing for 20 years and I haven't been able to get through there without getting hit, so. Kinda sucks that game developers put that into games, that it's impossible to get through, but. Cause I mean, if I got there with, you know, one little ball of health left, I would be screwed essentially. There's nothing I can do about it. Another part, if I can make it up there, again, the level's pretty easy, it's pretty short. It's not the only part, but this cuts out half of the level. But definitely not the easiest thing to do. Neither is this, unfortunately. But that's unfortunately what happens most of the time. When you're fighting to get up here. Now this level is really easy. Otherwise you have to go all the way around. And save. King Donald. Sorry, I forgot what his name was for a uh, this is pretty cool. You have the Bridge of Destiny. Again, this thing kind of tells you you've done well. You can pick between either of these two. Um, Two levels that are up on top of the screen there. Um, I usually go castle, the crystal castle first, just because crystal forest. I really love the music in this, in this level actually. Again, this is, might be one of the longer levels, and again, that's not saying much. 
And there's not really any shortcuts in this one like there was in, uh, where Donald was. Now these queen things, you gotta see, they got that little crown thing on the top of their head. You gotta take that up first. introduce, I mean, like, it's only in this level. You'll never see this in any other part of the level. Unfortunately. It'd be really cool if they had, like, one level at the end of the game where all of these elements were incorporated into one, but unfortunately it's just not there. themselves, why do you even care about this game? It's probably such a kid's game. Um, and my answer to that would be, simplicity doesn't necessarily mean bad. Um, I know a lot of people who have, say, like, uh, Kirby's Dream Land on the, on the Nintendo Game Boy, and that's like their favorite game on the system. Uh, and I guess this would kind of be the equivalent of my Kirby's Dreamland, uh, only for Game Gear. I guess that that's a way to explain it. It's just like a fun, simplistic game that's really easy to get into. You kind of get, uh, soaked into the game, I guess. Also, the length of it helps, just because it's short. This is probably the longest section of this game. Um, spend a lot of time waiting for this platform just because if you want to get everything. one of the longest sections of the game. This is one, again, one of those bosses that as a kid trying to figure out his pattern. Almost impossible. Scared the crap out of you every time. Because especially the random ones just like popping all over the screen. And you don't really know where he's going to show up. He can show up sometimes right the same spot you are. I think he's not that fast, so you're probably going to get hit. So far, he's pretty easy. I'm going to hit him three... Well, 
six times in total, but not see there. Yeah, he does that sometimes. kind of a weird level in the game because you don't actually have to do anything. You just kind of sit here. And the whole level just kind of happens. You gotta know when to shoot. Kind of thing. When to avoid. These things you can't hit, so I wouldn't bother trying. Sphinx again. We go to the Gardens of Illusion. I remember the first time I saw this screen. It's one of those numbers that, memories that will stick with me because of how oh gosh the amount of work that I put into getting this far in the game was incredible. So actually making it anywhere in this game was an accomplishment. And I remember getting stuck on the next screen for the longest time again. Not, not as hard now, but back in the day for sure. So this is the screen I got stuck on. Um, you have to basically stand on this and just kind of walk. And then you have to step on that note. 
And this was the hardest part, was landing these next consecutive jumps on these little notes. As a, again, six, seven-year-old kid, this was practically impossible, just like that. This was my favorite, actually when I got to this point, this was my favorite part of this game. I really wish there was more of these sections, but this is unfortunately the only one. I used to also make it like a game for myself to try to hit everything on screen without getting hit. Almost, I don't think I ever did it, but... I gave it my best. And that's it, that's just the three screens, these things, dead lines don't hurt you at all. Just don't fly around. And that's it. who's blocking off, taking control of the kingdom. And this is probably... Not this one specifically, but this is like two consecutive boss fights in a row. Uh, probably the longest uh, boss fight in the game. Now when he has that white uh, outline around him, you can't hit him at his little shield. I hit him when he comes down to swoop at you. Yeah, this is just, again, run back and forth consecutively. There's a the last hit. That's it. Then he kind of transforms into a dragon. This one you gotta put um, soap in the dragon's mouth so you can jump on top of his head and kind of confuse him. This is probably the most tedious fight in the, in the game. And I, I mean, I say tedious. I don't mean that it's like it sucks. It's just I think it goes on a little too long. But still a fun game. You don't even have to stay on his head, you can just kind of just touch his head. I used to think you had to wait there, but you don't. You just have to touch his head and then uh, hop off and you're good to go.
So yeah, I don't really know what to say at this point. It's just uh, lather, rinse, repeat. Uh, you can see, like, it's fun once you figure out the pattern. But uh, again, I think it goes a little too long. But again, I have to throw myself back to being like a six or seven year old kid and attempting to do this on a Game Gear. Uh, I don't know if, if any of you have played a Game Gear, you know what I mean by the mushy controls sometimes. And um, the sometimes lack of uh, response that you would prefer. So, a lot harder than, uh, than it seems normally. There you go, that one's done. Uh, the bonus level. Impossible to die, and I say that somewhat reservedly. There are spikes that will hurt you, but other than that, it's just a matter of figuring out how to get all the diamonds. <laughs> it's like they ha you can figure out another way to get him back to his castle. They just make him run on a rainbow. And celebrate with the animals. But of course, uh, when you get home to your home castle, it's because you're just a little soap serving boy. Uh, King Pete is un upset because you stole his glory. So you have to fight him to take him. Uh, this is, again, one of those fights that is just a little long, but not unbearable. That's the hardest part is, is trying to gauge where, when to jump, essentially you can clear him without hitting him on the way back. So, uh, 
Thanks for sticking around and, uh, and watching the whole video, if you did, if you stuck through it. Um, again, this is uh, Legend of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse with the Sega Game Gear, one of my favorite games for the system uh, in itself, so uh, really great game. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, let me know down in the comments, hit that subscribe button to see more. Uh, if you think maybe you'd like to see a live stream sometime with me playing games and uh, interacting with you guys, uh, be sure to let me, know down, let me know down in the comments as well. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thanks for sticking around, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.